Hey guys, so today um, I am back with a haul video. So I'm aware it's been like a year since I've posted on here, um, but like loads of things have been kind of preventing me from doing it again, and um, I got a little bit scared at the end. So I'm kind of gonna like dive in and uh, start. So yeah, I'm gonna jump into it. So there's no real like order to this haul. This is kind of a uh, collective haul from like the last few months. So some stuff's already old, some like some stuff's like a month old, some stuff I actually bought yesterday. So that's like a nice big mixture. <laughs> so I'm gonna start actually with some products as opposed to clothes, which may contradict the title. <laughs> um, so the first thing that I bought, and this was actually like the most recent thing I bought yesterday, I thought it was in Sainsbury's, was the uh, Vaseline Intensive Care Essential Healing um, Lotion. It's um, a non-greasy lotion and I am going to just use it. I think you use it when you're in the shower or after the shower. But I'm actually going to use it for shaving because I'm really bad at shaving. And um, I get really dry legs uh, when I shave. And they go all like red and pimply. And I've tried general shaving gels and stuff. But they don't, they're not like, they're not very like, not very kind to my skin. Uh, two weeks ago, sorry. And it's the L'Oreal um, Sculpt, Infallible Sculpt uh, Contour palette contour and highlighting palette I don't know like I can't say things <laughs> like this um so the reason why it's got like marks in it is because I left my uh concealer in with it and I used the collection 2000 concealer and for some reason the packaging explodes over, over everything so I'm trying to like put it in separate bags and stuff but I accidentally left it in my uh makeup drawer with this and yeah it was a bit of an explosion but I've already used this. I actually like got it on today, and I really like it. It's quite subtle if you want it to be. I can see it being like good to build up. But yeah, it's really nice. I'm not gonna show you inside because it's a bit messy. But I would definitely recommend those who are just get getting into like contour and highlight. And uh, there's a little uh, demonstration thing at the back, which is really helpful as well. Yeah. Next thing, onto clothing. So this was actually something that I bought quite a long time ago. I just have like my makeup camera already. And uh, I did an online order of H&M, which is my favourite shop in the whole wide world. <laughs> so it kind of like cuts off like just above your belly button, I think. Um, so I don't usually wear crop tops, it's felt self-conscious wearing them. So it's something that I've never really given a go but this summer I thought I'm going to be adventurous and like try some new clothing you know get outside the box and kind of just get something like this so I had seen them before and I really liked them and I think when it was online I just thought it's quite cheap I'm going to give it a go I think this was about 15 pounds 12 pounds I'll have a look um but yeah I really liked it <laughs> um and hence I've got a lot of new stuff of it I wear it with like high waisted things so it doesn't show so much belly uh but yes I like it a lot and I would recommend for those like I'm gonna branch out this year and show you my skin <laughs> um okay so this is possibly my most favourite thing, but the most controversial bit of clothing I've ever bought in my life. <laughs> this is another number from H&M, and it's these, I think they're girlfriend jeans. I think they're girlfriend jeans. So, they look like. So, they have loads of holes in them, they're really baggy, and I've actually rolled up the hem at the bottom. The hem? The uh, bottoms of these, because... They did come unrolled and they were unrolled on 
online, but I knew that I could roll them up. So these actually were sized like European sizing, which is so different to ours. So I had to guess from like a chart that I think they put online what one would be best for me. So these are actually a little bit big for me, um, but with a nice belt, which really complements them. It looks really nice. And uh, I've worn these so much over the summer. My boyfriend thinks that they're a bit weird. Um, and my dad just does not get the concept. So the next thing is also from H&M. I bought this earlier this week when I went shopping for a party that I went to on Friday. So it was my best friend's sister's 21st. So it was actually at the Royal British Legion which I didn't know and uh, I love history <laughs> so that was really fun but um, I bought this dress and it's very tight fitting something that I would never go for really but I wanted something a bit more like daring again I'm going on the theme of really daring um, so I went with this and I really enjoyed it. I might insert a picture, maybe, of me wearing it because I think there was one uh, taken that night. Uh, but I really, really liked it. So, yes, it's really comfortable. Um, it's quite long, like, so it goes like uh, uh, down further than my knees, which is what I wanted. I didn't want it to be tight and short. Uh, so, I really liked it. I actually got this in a size 10 or a size 8. But in H&M I find I'm like a size 12 most of the time and sometimes a size 10 so size up on this one and what's something else I want to say yeah so size up on this and I'm gonna defo wear it to like parties and stuff so it's like mini party dress for most of the time I also bought a skirt but it didn't really look right on me so but I know that my best friend will love it and it will probably look lush on her. So I gave that to her and then I swapped it with something, which I'll show you um, just now. So this top I got in New Look and it was £4. I haven't mentioned any prices actually in this video, I've just realised. It was around the £4 mark, so really cheap. And I'm going away to France uh in two weeks so this is just like i feel like this just reminds me of france and like the stripe print uh, tends to be french but yeah so i think i'm gonna wear that on holiday and when it gets a bit more colder because it will like next month i'm gonna put it under my leather jacket with my jeans so very controversial <laughs> no joking <laughs> no so yeah, that's that. And this was around the same time that I bought the jeans. So, yeah. I really like it. It's plain, simple. Like, it's weird because when pictures are taken of me with this top on, it looks like I don't have a top on. So you might need to wear it, like, carefully. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> the uh, last thing I got from H&M which was when I went out shopping with my mum a few weeks ago, was this black dress. So, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of like, it's quite short, um, it's quite sheer, but with like a black bra and some black bra, bra with, with a black bra and some black knickers on, should be okay. Um, I'm actually going to wear this to school, I think, but also out maybe i don't know what i'm gonna use it for but it, it, it was in the sale i think it was like 15 pounds and it's like a black dress and i love my black dresses at the moment so i'm really loving that and i'm gonna wear this on holiday with some sandals i think most of this stuff i'm actually gonna wear on holiday uh and i might do like a holiday lookbook if you guys want one <laughs> um yeah so so from, uh, there's some few things that I got from like charity shops and stuff and swaps from friends. So the so the first thing is actually from my man and it's this kind of this I think it's a beach cover up but I'm using it as just like a general top. Um, 
because it's really like nice material for the uh, summer and um, I tuck this in because it's like a beach cover up. Um, I tuck it underneath like my black jeans and uh, my, my my denim shorts and they look re like it really makes a summery outfit so I love that. So thanks Nan for that. <laughs> I think it was something that she bought years ago and she just never wore. So next thing I actually got from a charity shop when I was out with my Nan <laughs> and it's this really basic um, dress. So this was actually originally from Primark so it was nothing special. But I really, really liked the look of it and we're like coming into autumn and I know that once I get to school I'm going to find it really hard to shop again because life gets really busy when you go to school. So um, yeah, this is, this was quite good. I, I, I think I got this for like £3 so yeah, I would probably say it's probably for a size 6. So yeah. But I tried it on and it's okay and I'm just going to wear it with a blazer so no one's going to see the constriction going on. And the final thing actually originally came from H&M. So the final thing actually came from H&M and this was the swap with my best friend. So I gave her the skirt that I mentioned earlier and she gave me this wonderful like again autumnal dress i really love it already and i haven't tried it on um this is about i think this is a size 10 or a 12 so it's a perfect size for me it's gonna look really nice with like a blazer and my like black boots that i've got for school in like autumn winter so thank you thank you for that and that is finally it this has been a longer video than I wanted it to be, but I'm going to cut loads of stuff out, so it's going to be really minimalistic, hopefully, but everything still go well. And um, if just let me know what, what you guys want from me. I think I'm going to do a little bit of like a vlog when I go away, and outfit pictures when I go away, so maybe a lookbook and stuff but I don't really know what else to film I don't know whether you want any makeup stuff I don't really wear that much makeup but I do have like a little routine so I could do um, a get ready with me or like a room tour I'm really sorry about my room I didn't realise that it was messy at the back until halfway through but yeah <laughs> so yeah um, I'll see you guys in my next one bye